Hey guys, so I, uh, my name is Sound of a Gap and this is Ninukuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. Welcome back to a new episode and in this one of course we are still continuing with the side missions. We will finish a wedding dress and the mushroom lesson. We will energize some people and help one more person to create a love potion and in the end we will do another skirmish to get our own incineraptor. So guys, please enjoy. We have ball of pure wool, are you kidding me? That's awesome, let's go and give this to Yip Yip. There she is, Yip Yip. There you go. There's the pure wool. Here you are, Yip Yip. I brought you some pure wool. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, your majesty. I shall start weaving my daughter's wedding dress right away. Good luck, Yip Yip. By the way, do you know why Goldpaw has this tradition of making wedding dresses from pure wool? <laughs> hmm, that is a good question. The intertwining of the warp and weft represents the joining of two lives, and the wedding bond itself is sealed with a symbolic knot of the very same wool. Gosh, how romantic! Ah, ah, I suppose it is. I pray that my daughter and her husband will have a long and happy life here in Evermore. <laughs> so do I, and thanks again for letting me do my bit to help. I have a feeling this is going to be a really wonderful wedding. Oh well, I certainly hope so. Thank you very much for your help. Nice, done with that. We have the three octopuses. Yes, let's give those to Marina. Marina, it has been very long. Here we are, and here are your three octopuses. <laughs> here you are, three octopuses, fresh as you like, man. Wonderful. You are one step closer to a dining experience you will never forget. Now, the next ingredient we will require is some splendid squid. Four of them should suffice. Hold up. You want squid as well. We've just been off octopus hand in mind. You could have said. Eh? My apologies. I should have informed you earlier, of course. Alas, I have only just realized that this was the other ingredient we were lacking. It pains me to make such demands of you, but believe me when I say that the meal which awaits you when the ingredients have been gathered will make all your efforts worthwhile. Hi. I certainly hope so. All right, we'll bring you four splendid squid as soon as we can. No, no. You're not scared of squid then, Evan? No, not at all. Well, I'm not hugely keen on how slimy they are, and they are not exactly beautiful, but they are so delicious that I don't care. Crikey, you're an odd one. Scared as octopuses, but okay when it comes to squids. What's that all about, eh? Is that really so strange? I've always thought of them as entirely different one from one another. What? As indeed they are, from a culinary perspective especially. Bring me some and you will soon learn the delicious difference for yourselves. Alright, we'll do that. See you soon. Please tell me we have some. Please tell me we have some. We have some. Awesome. Let's do this right away. Here you are, four splendid squid. Well, that's it now, right? You ain't got any more sea nonsense to send us chasing after, is it? Oh no, we have everything we need now, thank you. I will begin the preparations immediately. Your meal will be with you before you know it. Here we are, two plates of Medusa's hair, the Taverna Calamari signature dish. Prepare yourselves for a culinary experience unlike one another. Uh, unlike any other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Smell that, Evan man. They are tantalizing. I can't flip and wait to get my chops around it. Mm. It really does smell absolutely del delicious. Thank you very much. <laughs> please, do not mention it. I am the one who should be thanking you. Now, please relax and enjoy your food. Oh, and should you ever find yourselves in Hydropolis again, be sure to drop by. Your next meal, then your next meal, will be my treat. <laughs> oh, lovely! We must, we most certainly will. Eh. Excellent. We will prepare a special menu just for you. All right. Wait. Awesome. We got a 
need a new cookbook for our cook. But the thing is, where the hell is she? I want to talk to her right away to get my free meal. Dajing, a master. Mm. Well, little king, I have to hand it to you. You know how to work people hard. Thanks to your outrageous demands, I am now more outstanding at my job than ever before. Yep, yep. Also, master. Eh? You may be surprised to learn that I am fiercely competitive. You will find that no one works harder for you and your kingdom, your majesty. I will not let you down. And then there's Tiller. We needed his even keeled on level 2. Or on master level, actually. That's nice. <laughs> You're lucky to have me, you know. Wrecking this place, it'd be right to miss if I weren't here. I don't panic because I'm not going anywhere. Not now, not ever. Nice. Nobi. Oh no, it's Brody! Hey, Evan. You haven't seen Nubi around the place anywhere, have you? Mm. Nubi? Why? Is everything alright? Oh. Uh, not really. Something kinda bad happened. So, I was talking to this guy about weapon tech and stuff, and I happened to mention that kind of work we can and can't give Nubi. Turns out he was listening, and the next thing I knew, he ran off without saying a word. I don't know what he thought. He heard. Anyhow, ever since then, he's been acting really weird, like super cold. I'll just, I'll just be like, hi, and he's all like, whatever, man. I'm sure it's all just some stupid misunderstanding, but I can't fix things until I know wh who's go what's going on with him, you know? Mm. Oh dear, perhaps I could go and talk with him. <laughs> you do that. Oh man, if you could, you'd really be helping me out. Thanks, your majesty. All right, we have to talk to Nubi. Actually, let's do that. There he is. Ah, there you are. What are you doing all the way out here, Nubi? Uh, King Heaven, I, I, I'm just examining the, um, the, the soil here. I, I am thinking about how various metals are formed and, and so on. Why? Do, do you need something? Mm. Not really. It's just... Well, I've been speaking to Brody. Did something happen between you two? Brody? Oh. Uh, no, nothing. It, it's simply that, well, I, I was under the impression that I, he considered me an equal, a fellow weapon maker, but it seems I was wrong. You see, I heard him speaking about me with one of his friends. He said I was not to be allowed to work on a certain weapon. He's just a kid, man. That is what he said. I see. Oh. Brody always praises me to my face, but now I have learned that his true opinion of me is rather different. Mm. You don't know that for sure, Nubi. Perhaps he meant something different. But I understand how you feel. Thank you for telling me. I'd better go and see what Brody has to say about this. And back we go. It's not like we are the king, but uh, doing some stuff like that. Well, Brody, I've spoken to Nubi. He's upset because he said he's not allowed to work on a certain weapon. Or on certain weapons. Did you say that? That he couldn't work on certain things because he's just a child? Listen, Nubi's a great kid. He's super passionate. And his skills are way better than most guys with years of, of experience. Uh. And it's not just me saying that, by the way. Everybody in the industry says he's an awesome talent. Which is why there's no way I'd ever put him in any danger. Oh, danger? Yeah, some of our work involves a lot of fumes. Dog folk have super sensitive lungs, and he's a kid besides. There's no way I can't let him do that stuff. Oh. That's what I meant when I said he was just a kid. It was nothing to do with his talent. I just didn't want him getting hurt. Guess I can understand why he took it that way, though. So, it's all just a big misunderstanding. I am. Oh, uh, no. So, it's all just a big misunderstanding. I knew it. We've got to set things straight, Brody. Totally, but before you do that... I hate to ask you this, but I need another favor. You know, the work I was talking about before with the fumes... Well, there's a way to make it safe even for Nubi. He just needs to wear a mask made of frosty fluff cotton. That way, he won't be breathing any of the bad stuff in. The problem is, I'm clean out and I'm too busy to get to go get some more. Could you get it for me? 
then you can take it to Newbie and explain the whole situation. Of course, I'll go and find some right away. Uh. Thanks, man. You'll probably need about three clumps of the stuff just to be safe. Let me know how it goes, okay? I'm pretty sure we don't have that, or do we? Oh, it looks like we do. Okay. Uh. Oh, now we have to go to, uh, to Newbie. All right, let's go over there. Rody was not angry with me, was he? I'm rather frightened to ask him directly. There you go. We had over three clumps of frosty fluff cotton. Hmm? What is this? Brody told me to give it to you. You just need to make a face mask out of it and you'll be allowed to work on the weapon he was talking about. But... When Brody said he, you were just a child, he di it didn't have anything to do with your weapon making abilities. He just didn't want you breathing in any dangerous fumes, that's all. So Brody was... He was worried about me? Oh, I have been a fool. I must go and speak with him right away. I must apologize. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like we have sorted out that little misunderstanding. Let's head back to the workshop and make sure they are all friends again. Really? Ah. Uh... Why can't we just go over there and talk to them right away? There we go. Arigato. Hey there, your majesty. Thanks for all your help. Now, Nubis got his mask. He can work on that weapon I was talking about. He'll have mastered it in no time, too. <laughs> That's wonderful news. Ano. Now, I know you've done a lot for me already, but I have one last teeny tiny favor to ask. That kid needs to be constantly challenged, man. He needs to be looking at high-grade weapons, like, the whole time, so he can always be learning. So I was thinking if you handed one over, being the king at all, he'd pay extra special attention. Another request? Golly! Uh. It would be really great if you could bring a Radiant Blade of Grade 8 or higher for the little guy. He could learn a lot from studying a piece like that. Okay, do we have to give it to him or just show? We have to show him. Let's see if we have a Grade A or higher. Yeah. No, we don't. So we have to build some. Mm. It looks like we don't have that whatsoever, no. A radiant. There's no radiant blade. Just burning. Shit. So, as we can't do this, let's talk to... You! Hello, Bygone. What are you up to? I came to collect the latest piece of armor that we sent to Faidu to be repaired, but the foolish boy is nowhere to be seen. Just where has he disappeared to? <laughs> oh, I'm sure he hasn't gone far. Let me go and look for him. Thank you, Your Majesty. He really is nothing but trouble, that grandson of mine. Alright, let's take a look at Faidu. Ah, there you are. What's going on, Faidu? Hm? Oh, King Evan. Uh, do, don't worry. Uh, I will be returning to work right away. Bygone's waiting for you, you know. What? My grandfather? Oh, no. Ah. I knew it. I knew my armor would displease him. He must be furious. Oh, I cannot face him. I simply cannot. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, Faidu. I'm sure it will be fine. I was a failure as a soldier, and now I have proved myself to be a failure as an armorer. No wonder my grandfather's angry at me. Please, your majesty, I cannot go back and face him now. Will you tell him for me, please? Tell him that I am indisposed? Well then, we can do that. Sure. Ano. Hello, Bygone. I'm afraid Fido is, um, indisposed at the moment. Grr, typical foolish young pup. He thinks I'm angry with him, does he not? <laughs> oh, how do you know that? I know my grandson well enough. He has always lacked faith in himself. I did not come to rage at him. Quite the opposite, in fact. His work is very impressive indeed. In fact, my men refuse to have their armor seen to be uh, seen to by anybody else. This is why I came to visit him personally. I thought I should let him know how well I thought he was doing. Goodness. A soldier's armor becomes part of him, you see. 
Over time, it becomes impossible to tell where the man ends and the armor begins. Of course, most are too embarrassed to admit that, to admit the extent to which they rely on the work of craftspeople like my grandson. Gosh, uh, gosh, he really has to hear that. You wouldn't believe how badly he's got the wrong idea, uh, the wrong end of the stick. He is still young, little more than a pup. The more I think about it, the more I believe it would be better for you to tell him this. You, too, are young. He will listen. If he sees me, he will simply run with his tail between his legs. And if you don't not mind, could you please take him three balls of cuddly warm cotton as well? He will understand its significance. Mm. Cuddly warm cotton? Alright, I'll see what I can do. Please tell me we have that. Yes, we do. Awesome. I wonder if my grandfather is still waiting for me. I'm sure that he is. He is far too stubborn to give up and go home. Great news, Fido. Your grandfather is not angry with you at all. Really? No? I do not believe you. I he was merely pretending for your benefit, your majesty. As soon as he sees me, he is sure to erupt with fury once again. Uh. He really won't, I promise. In fact, he's got something very important to tell you. But, King Evan, it has been so long, I... I feel that I... That it would be better now if we were not to meet at all. Oh, I almost forgot. He asked me to give you this. Three clumps of cuddly warm cotton. Cuddly warm cotton. Grandfather always used to used to use this to polish his armor. So that's it? Mm. I spent so much time with him as a young pup. I would sit with him as he polished his armor, listening to his stories. There was famous armor and gold power back then. My grandfather would always clean his armor before taking it to him to have improvements made. A soldier's armor grows to become part of him over time. That is what he used to say. And then, uh, and the man who makes his armor becomes his brother. And he truly seemed to mean it. He was never a sentimental man, but his bond with, with the armorer was a true and a deep one. In fact, that is why I thought, why I sought to become an armor myself. I think I have always known that I could never be a soldier. But I loved him and respected him so. I wish to have the same bond that he had with this man if I could. <laughs> I... I had completely, completely forgotten this. Mm. Thank you, King Evan. You have reminded me of exactly why I decided that, um, that armor making was my true calling. I must return to my workshop right away. <laughs> That's wonderful to hear, Fido. But I... I must confess that I am still a little frightened of him. Would you... would you mind coming with me? <laughs> really? I mean... I don't mind, of course, but you don't need to be frightened, I promise. And back we go. You have done my grandson a great service, King Evan. Thank you. And thank you for giving him the cuddly warm cotton, too. <laughs> You're welcome, Bygone. I'm just glad you are friends again. And I'm pretty sure there will be another quest which I can't do because I don't have the armor he wants. Right? There was actually another reason why I came here. Another thing I wish to discuss with Faidu. He has become a fine armorer, as you know. But there is still room to improve. The only way this will happen, however, is if he is exposed to pieces of unsurpassed quality. Yeah, I thought so. For example, some warlord's armor of grade 8 or higher. If my grandson were to spend some time studying a piece such as that, he would learn a great deal, I'm certain. I see. Then I'd better go and find one for him. Thank you, your majesty. Faidu holds you in the very highest regard, you know. It would mean a great deal to him if you were to present him with the armor yourself. And I'm pretty sure I don't have that and I can't build that. No item. Yeah, I thought so. So, Warlord's armor. Here we go. Great five, six, seven... Eight. Some Imperial Sword when taking damage, slightly reduces damage taken. Aha. Awesome. We got that. And... No, we're not gonna equip it. And here you go. There is the armor. This is what my grandmother, uh, grandfather asked you to bring me? That's right. He thought you might be able to learn a lot by studying it. 
I see. Thank you, your majesty, for everything. There is not a day that goes by when I do not feel blessed to have had the opportunity to come to your kingdom. <laughs> Thanks to you, I feel that I am closer to realizing my dream than ever. And to my grandfather, too. I will not let you down, either of you. I know you won't, Fidu. You've changed so much since I first met you. It's wonderful to see. And done with that. Awesome. Morgan. A master. This may be kind of a promotion, but I'm just going to get on with my job. Same as always. Good girl. Francine is a master. For an impresario like me, there's nothing sweeter than success. And it seems I'm a hit here and evermore. Long may my run continue. What will my next project be, I wonder? Yeah, those are the mazes. Skirmish. I'm gonna do the skirmishes later. We might have the mushroom already that she wants. We might have something new. Let's take a look. This is a quest I have opened since level 20. Or actually level 15 or something. Hopefully we can finish this now. It may look sweet and beautiful, but its flavor is famously awful. Uh, sickly sweet mushrooms that look cute but are too cloying to enjoy. I'm pretty sure this is the mushroom she needs. This is the only new one we have at the moment. Come on. Tell me I'm right. I found it, Henny. This mushroom looks adorable, but its taste is absolutely disgusting. Well done, Evan. That's the correct answer. And that's three out of three. You've passed the test. Congratulations. Yeah, it just took like, I don't know, 30 hours? 40? <laughs> Gosh, that's such a relief. I was fairly confident about the last one, but it was still nerve-wracking waiting for you to tell me if I'd got it right. I can imagine. But you did well to identify the cutesy, uh, cutesy pop. They are indeed more valued for their appearance than their flavor, though the tiniest trace of their cloying, sickly sweetness can sometimes give a cake a little extra something. I, su I suppose it probably could. Isn't it wonderful how everything has its use? Indeed it is, and that's one of the most important lessons any child can learn. Arigato. Well, thank you for teaching me it, Henny. All right, Evan. That's the end of the test. Well done on finishing it. It really wasn't easy. I might make a few adjustments before I have the children give it a try. Arigato Honestly, I can't wait to see their faces when I tell them that King Evan himself took the very same mushroom spotting test as them and passed with flying colors. Awesome. Ah, nice! We got five cloves of death breath garlic already. Awesome! Now we can give this to the experimental nutritionist in Broadleaf. Ah, there she is. <laughs> there you go, girl. Here you are! Five bulbs of death breath garlic. Oh, cool! Thanks! <laughs> All right, Nutriblam 1.0 is good to go. This ought to be just about the healthiest, most energizing substance ever made. Now, we just need to see who's a little low on get up and go around here so we can give them a little pick-me-up. All right, we got several Nutriblams. Are you sure? We still don't know what they taste like. Oh, it will be fine. This stuff packs enough of a punch to get even the most burnt-out engineer back on his feet. They're not going to care about the flavor. <laughs> well, if you say so. Okay, uh, we have to test it now. Uh, hand out Nutriblams to five tired-looking people. He looks really tired. <laughs> Hello there. You look rather tired, I must say. Are you alright? Uh. Alright. Nah, man. I'm beat. I just finished an epic debugging session, and now I don't even have the energy to make it home. Yes. Perfect. We don't. Uh, why don't you try some Nutriblam? It's a newly developed food that will have you raging, uh, ra raring to go again in no time, and it's good for you too. Mm -hmm. Nutri, what? Ah, whatever. I'll try just about, just about anything, if it will keep me awake long enough to make it home to bed. Uh. 
What the? What the heck did you just make me eat? Is that stuff even for humans? Is it even supposed to be edible? Ooh. Yes, it's it's a revolutionary new. It's called Nutriblam. Uh. Nutriblam? More like Nutriblah. But um, aren't you feeling less tired at least? Huh? Well, I guess uh, I. Whoa! Wait a second. <laughs> now that you mention it, I am pretty pumped. In fact, yeah. Whoa! Never mind a sec. Never mind a second wind, I just got a second hurricane. <laughs> so, you're not tired anymore? <laughs> tired? I don't think I'll ever be tired again. That stuff tastes like garbage, but man, was it worth it? Alright, I think I'm gonna go run. Like, to the top of the tower and back. Catch you later. That was number one. Totally didn't see you, girl. <laughs> <sighs> oh man, why is it always me who gets shouted at? It really gets me down. Oh, no. oh dear, you look like you could use a little pick-me-up. Here, try this. It's a new snack called Nutriblam. Mm -hmm. Huh? You're just giving me this? Like a free sample or something? Sure, uh, I'll give it a try. <laughs> Yo, I feel like my tongue's going to fall off. Are you trying to poison me? Uh, uh, no, it's not poison. It's just Nutriblam, like I said. <laughs> ah, is this just idea of a joke? Do you get a kick out of watching people suffer? <laughs> uh, no, not at all. Please, you just need to calm down and... <laughs> huh? What's going on? The bad taste's gone all of a sudden, and my body, it feels kind of... light? Everything looks brighter. Hey, I'm sorry I yelled at you just now. You know, I hardly even remember what I was angry about now. Oh, that's all right. I'm just glad you're feeling better. You're feeling better, aren't you? Ah. Oh, you bet I am. I'm full of energy and feeling happy and, yeah, I'm on top of the world. Nobody's shouting at me today. I'm gonna show them what I can really do. Alrighty, three more to go. Ugh, what a life. I sleep and sleep and... Uh, still, I'm tired. Oh, no. Well, if you're feeling tired, why don't you give this a try? It's a new snack called Nutriblam, and it's guaranteed to fill you with energy. Huh? <coughs> you think some stupid fat food is going to solve my problem, kid? I've been exhausted for over ten years. It's going to take more than a mouthful of whatever junk you're selling to fix me. <laughs> Oh, but this is no ordinary food. It's been developed by Broadleaf's top nutritionist. Surely there's no harm in trying a little. It's at least. <gasps> fine, fine. Hand it over. I don't have it in me to argue anyhow. But this better be good, kid. I've got a hard enough day ahead of me already. Hmm? <laughs> um, are, are you alright? Hmm? I... I... I don't believe it. My aching bones, they don't ache anymore. <laughs> My whole body feels like I just air. It's almost like I've grown wings or something. <laughs> that sounds wonderful, especially considering how tired you said you were before. <gasps> I know. It's a miracle is what it is. What's the stuff called again? Mm. Oh, um, Nutriblam. <laughs> and your nutritionist body made it right. Well, tell whoever that is that they are a stone-cold genius. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go hop, skip, and jump a little. I'd like to see that, but he is already gone. Looks like he is not well, is he? <laughs> Bird or researcher? Oh, I'm about ready to quit, man. It's just too much. I can't work anymore. I'm, I'm dying here. Gosh, you sound rather tired. <laughs> tired? Ha, I'm not tired. I'm exhausted. It's all too much. But why is he holding his belly like that? And why is he rocking like this? It's look, it looks like he's laughing, actually, and not like he's tired. Well, I don't know if it'll help, but would you like to give this a try? It's a new snack called Nutriblam. Huh? Snack? Sure, I'll give it a try. What's happening? All I remember is being at work and feeling totally beat and then... Nothing. And 
What's that smell? Why does everything smell like gal? <laughs> Wait, it's me. How come I smell like garlic? And how come I'm so full of energy all of a sudden? Uh, no. Does this mean are you feeling better? Uh. Apart from the small, uh, from the smell, you mean? Yeah, I, I guess I do. I mean, this stuff's really got my syn synapses firing. I don't think my brain's ever felt more alive. I need to go put it to work. I'm not sure what you did for me, but I have a feeling I owe you big time. Thanks, man. And then there was only one more to go. And there's the last person. Why do I feel so cold? I'm supposed to be going out on patrol any minute, but my body feels like it's frozen solid. Konnichiwa. Oh dear, that sounds terrible. Maybe an energy-packed snack would help. <laughs> huh? Oh, no thanks. I'm done with weird supplements and stuff. I've already tried them all, and none of them make any difference. <laughs> oh, but this isn't a supplement. It's a snack specially designed for tired people, and it hasn't gone on sale to the public yet or anything. Really? And you're letting me try it for free? Well, I'm not about to say no to that. Let's give it a whirl. So, how is it? It's... Whoa! It's like it's lit some kind of a fire in my belly. Suddenly, I feel all warm inside. Even my toes aren't feeling the cold anymore. Oh god, you certainly look an awful lot healthier. And I feel it too. What was the name of this stuff again? Mm. It's called Nutriblam. <laughs> Great. As soon as it goes out to market, I'm buying a lifetime supply. All right. I better get started on my patrol. Thanks again, kid. Well, then it sounds like a drug. But uh, okay. <laughs> Flippin' heck, man. She wasn't lying, eh? That Nutriblam packs a proper punch. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it, Lofty. We better go and let our nutritionist friend know that she's got a big hit on her hands. All right, so let's go back to the experimental nutritionist. Well, I gave all the Nutriblem samples to tired looking people. Ah, you did? Great. And how did it go? Did it give them a lift? It really did. It was touch and go at times, but it certainly seemed to give everyone an awful lot of energy. <laughs> Excellent. Sounds like it works just as well as I'd hoped. Thanks for helping me out with the trial. Here's a little something for your trouble. Rocket fuel. <laughs> okay. And she's gone. Ah, we can finish this. We can give the two sets of delicate wing bones to Grisella. Let's do that. So, there you go, girl. Here you are, Grisella. Ah, you brought me the bone I asked for. Yes, this is perfect. Thank you, Your Majesty. So, can you tell me some more about the potion you're making? Uh. I'm afraid not. It must be kept a secret, even from the ruler of our kingdom. Uh. Oh, um... Well, I hope you don't mind me making sure, but... It's not some kind of potion or anything like that, is it? Uh, poison. Of course not! How dare you! Look, if you must know, it's a love potion. Someone asked me to con concoct one for them. I won't say any more than that, though. And I most certainly won't say who it's for. Ah, I, uh, I see. Sorry for prying. I hope it's a big success. <laughs> oh, it will be. I'm certain of that. Thanks again for your help, Your Majesty. And listen, if you really want me to whip one up for you as well, I can. Just keep it under your hat, all right? Uh, oh, uh, uh, thanks for the offer, Grisella. But uh, I don't think I'll be needing any, uh, needing one anytime soon. Nice. I would like to get her. Let's take a look at Volko. We have talked to Volko before, the fire dragon. We might be able to kill or to slay him, to defeat him with her. Let's try this. I would have to do some other skirmishes beforehand. Uh, inspect forces. 16, 11, 7, 6, 6, 6, 5, 5, 6. This should be actually possible because we are level 18 and above. Our unit's enemy might is not that high. But we will 
of course, bolster everybody. And we have so many King Skilders. We will take everything except hard mode. Yo. And here we go. Smite. Shriek, walk with our friend, Pig Squeaks. You are not taking him away from us. <laughs> you little titlers, I walk with minions. Flippin' heck, man. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> not in your Nelly, you dirty rat cell elf. Got have to get what? Alright, uh, let's up our defense and down theirs. Uh, what else could we do? Neutralized! Oh, he's done already. Okay. Oh, I lost my shields. I lost my shield people. Interesting. So was that him then? It was not. Valku is a far more imposing presence. Yep, on we go. Finally, the final warning, Redbacks. Cracky, look at him all. You've got a bit of infestation by Yaman. Alright. I didn't mean to build this. God damn it. I just wanted to get more people. Alright, we're gonna go ahead with these. Come here, guys. And there's Volko. You have done well to make it this far, Priestess. Let's do this, Kalimira. As long as we stand united, Your Majesty, we have nothing to fear. Oh really? Come on, he's nearly done. Wait, did she just die? What? She just died? Are you kidding me? We did so well! Why was she standing underneath the dragon when he was doing his attack? What the fuck? Why is the AI so stupid in this game? Come on! We did so well! He was so close to being done! We'll do this again. Come on, this time. This time, come on. As long as you stand united, yeah, stay with me, girl! Oh, 
And done. Second round, or are you done, Volko? Priestess of Mordor, King of Evermore, I acknowledge your might. Awesome! Kainera, we did it! No, Your Majesty, you did it. You have my heartfelt thanks. And this is how it should be done first time around. You, you are powerful indeed. Mighty Volko, I mean to unite our world. Will you rally to our cause? So that is why you seek a bond with me. Very well, High Priestess. Consider our pact made. You honor me, Almighty One. May the enmity that has stood between my realm and yours soon be forgotten. The bond is forged, King Evan. We are yours to command. We? Thanks so much, Kalinera. You're going to be a great help. I just know it. Wait, are we getting this dragon as well? Uh, wait. Prayer given powers that can help at the cathedral or spellworks. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to take a look at that, because it sounds like if we take her and her Mermagi guys for the skirmishes, we can actually call Volko to help us. That would be awesome. Ah, Hippo Noah, a veteran now. I am so delighted all I wish to do is paint, but first I must complete my work for the day. I cannot neglect my duties. Summons an enormous Incineraptor in front of you that will attack the enemy. Oh, this is oh, so awesome. Yeah, let's take her. I like that. So we have defense down for the enemies, defense up for us, poison the enemies, and we have our Incineraptor. Awesome. <laughs> 